Hey y'all, it's Whitney Lane for AfterBuzz TV, and I'm sitting here with Mr. Aaron Lewis. You're having a good day today, I think, huh? What's the big news? Today's been a good day. Um, <clears throat> it officially came out today that I have the number one record across all formats. That's pretty big stuff. Yeah. Did you expect it, or are you just like super excited that it happened? I don't think anybody expected it, to be quite honest with you. That's always good. Come out, be unexpected. This is your third country album, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Center and what you're excited to share with the fans through this one. I don't know if it's an excitement to share it with the fans. Um, as with every record that I've ever written, it's, it's a, a look into what I've been going through in my own life after uh, over the last few years. And, uh, and that's, that's really, I don't know, that's all. Would you say that fans, when they're listening to these songs, they get a real feel of who Aaron Lewis is? Um, you know, I guess I got to leave that up to the fans. You know, it's, it's a matter of whether, whether you're so jaded that it can't be real or that you accept the fact that. The, this is what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know. Right. Okay. Well, so Willie Nelson is on one of your songs, right? Yeah. The, the title track of that. What was it like working with him? Um, I didn't get to see Willie very much in the studio. I just did a couple weeks on tour with him um, and got to spend some good quality time with the man. And uh, it's pretty amazing. He's a very wise, wise old soul. I was actually driving over here for this interview, and That Ain't Country was playing on Sirius XM. How much of a response have you gotten from that song? It's been a really good response, actually. Um, you know, you, you write a song and speak your mind in it and put it out there and hope people agree. Okay, so question for you. If you, if you just had fans that know you from Stained as the front man, is there a song off-center that you think would bring them over to the country music genre? Maybe center. They'll have to see, huh? Yeah, they may be changed fans over to country. Here they come, right? <laughs> Why not? You never know. <laughs> so also, I know that one of your daughters sang a song on this yeah. album. What was it like working with her? That's probably the proudest moment I've I've ever had as a as as a man. Forget about as a father. Mm -hmm. And um, for her to have walked in and and did it the way she did it under the pressure that she was under and she walked in there and she sang that song three times from beginning to end and was done that's amazing it was completely amazing well i was going to say you have a lot of ladies in your family daughters your wife couple sisters what is it, it like to be like a role model for it's, them it, it's it's me and and our pig <laughs> And the two horses, that, that, that's it. The rest of it is all females. Our dogs, daughters, it's definitely a house full of females for sure. How is that? Um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't mind. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything. There you go. I like that. Now, you've been outspoken about, about a lot of different things when it comes <laughs> to country. Go. Here we go. No, I think this will be kind of actually fun. You, you've spoken a lot about, like, your grandfather introduced you to country music and, yeah. and some of the, the greats at that point. Are there people I, I you... I sat on my grandfather's lap as a kid and watched every single Hee Haw episode that ever came out. And same with Dukes of Hazard. Awesome. And, um... The good old stuff, huh? Yeah, you know, that's what I recognize. To me, that's country music. You know, uh, and it's just my opinion. And, and it's so amazing how much weight people put on one person's opinion. That's just how I grew up. It's the music that I grew up with. I don't hear it in today's country, and it's my opinion, and it's my right to say it. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Do you do you have any um, artists now that are playing country music now that you're like, okay, that's solid country music? Sure there is. You know, there's artists that are getting played on the radio that mm -hmm. I feel that way about. Um, and then there's, there's artists on country radio that I don't even understand how or why they're classified as 
country music. There's nothing, there's, there isn't a line that can be drawn from the music that they're putting out and the music that defined the genre. Well, you're right. Everybody has an opinion. you got to share it. You should be able to do that. Exactly. Do you, when it Whether comes... Whether I'm able to or not, <laughs> I still do. Well, I think that's a good thing. You have to be able to be who you are in this. And that's what comes out in center as well, right? You're sharing yourself through that to your fans. Um, you know, I, I, if I don't walk away from a record feeling like I've said too much, then it's not finished. And, you know, usually if, if I can listen to that record for that last time, because once it's done, I don't listen to it anymore. Wow. Um, if I can listen to it that last time and go, did I say too much? In the songs, did I did I express too much? Did I reveal too much? Usually, I'm okay as long as I feel that way leaving the studio situation. That's pretty awesome to not even listen to it again, especially when it's hit number one. You haven't heard it since. Mm-mm. Wow, that's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Let's do a couple just get to know Aaron Lewis questions real quick. Right. What would people be surprised to know about you? I've got a little bit of a problem with being afraid of the dark. Oh, that's interesting. Do you know what that stems from? (laughs) Yes, I certainly do. (laughs) Can you share? Um, It was a a, a traumatic childhood experience that that the older kids in the neighborhood thought would be funny. Never is. And and I'm I'm still affected by it today. Hey, I get it. Everybody has something, (laughs) right? What is your happy place? Oh, a tree stand. Um, a boat, a river, hmm. my bed, my bed. <laughs> That's hard to do when you're on the road like this. Um, my couch with my kids piled on top of me. Good old stuff right there. I love it. I love it. Well, since we're in Hollywood, if there was a movie Mm -hmm. named after you, like made after your life, what would it be called? Misunderstood. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, Let's see. Let's see. What's a good one? Favorite sports team? What, What sport? Any sport. Your favorite sport and favorite team. Red Sox, Patriots, Bruins, Celtics. Ooh, we got a California one up in there. Who? The Bruins? Oh, that's not UCLA, is it? No. <laughs> that would be Boston. I obviously have no idea what I'm talking about. That was good. <laughs> Oops. That's all good. <laughs> um, okay, so you will be heading back out to Hollywood to kick off your center tour here at the Troubadour, which is an iconic spot. What do you want fans to take away from this tour? Um, I don't know. All I ever hope for for a live show is that people walk away from it being thoroughly entertained for the evening, and that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to jump around and make a spectacle of myself to for you to be entertained. It, it means that, you know, you came and saw a show that that the musicians on stage did their best to recreate what they recorded in that moment live. I love that. And for those of those people that are out there watching you that are hoping one day to be a musician like you, do you have any advice for them? Careful what you wish for. Well, there you have it, you guys. Aaron Lewis, get his new album, Center, out at number one right now. Thanks so much for chatting with me. Hey, I'm Aaron Lewis, and you're watching After Buzz TV.